I noticed our bathroom window was open. I told him, you go stay by the car. You stand there. Mommy's going to go inside. I went inside. I looked. My entire house is tore up. Outrage, shock. A woman says she and her five-year-old son came home, found their front door broken, and police looking for a kidnapping suspect inside. But it turns out that suspect was never there. Katie Kay's Lindsay Ward joins us now live with a response to that woman's complaint and who police continue to try to find. Yeah, as you can hear, that woman was clearly angry about what happened in that home that she rents in Beachview. She says she didn't even know investigators were inside her house. In fact, that she thought someone actually was killed in her home or even a robbery took place based on how it looked after investigators were in there. That was Shauna Scudder, and she says all she knew was that there was some type of SWAT situation happening in that area and that her son's skull was put on lockdown because of a possible kidnapping. Scudder says she has absolutely no connection to the people police are looking for because she has only lived inside her Wentworth Avenue home for about four months. Now, this all began around 2 30 Tuesday when a woman told police she was picked up by a family acquaintance. That man allegedly kidnapped her and then drove her throughout the city. At one point, he gave the woman a bottle of water and she got sick after drinking it. Now, the two ended up View Avenue, where the woman called police. Later on, police thought the man barricaded himself inside a home with a gun near Wentworth Avenue, but they actually did not find him there. In the meantime, a police detective did eventually speak with Scudder about what happened inside her house. There's no value I get to reimburse for my five-year-old kid coming home, thinking that somebody was in my home and not having a patrolman here to give him the security and tell him, no, your house is okay, and this is what happened and why we had to do it. Scudder tells us that she did speak with a city official about that broken front door on her home, and it will be reimbursed and replaced. This morning, police are looking for a man with longer hair. Um, the kidnapped in this situation was taken to the hospital, but at this time, we don't know her condition. Reporting live, Lindsay Ward for KDKA News on Pittsburgh CW.